After a long month of rainy days, it's August, and this is the month for harvesting our wheat. But there's still a few local jobs that need doing, as well as some equipment that we need to get moved back to the farm. It's the end of summer here at Guy Friday's Country Goods. You can find a link to this playlist in the description below, or check the channel page for other farming series you might like. Well, we just got back from plowing a field. It is the beginning of August, and uh, well, I'm headed back out. I think we're I think we're going to do another contract, making some money here because our wheat field is now available to harvest. We can harvest our wheat field, but we, we've got time. We don't have to harvest it now thing is i don't want to as i mentioned before I, I don't want to lease a harvester harvesters are expensive to lease i'd like to own our own harvester and uh one thing that uh i've kept an eye on the used equipment for sale i've been hoping a harvester would pop up one hasn't still waiting on the harvester front for now well we just got back we need to wash this off we just got done plowing in the pouring rain Remember last episode when it rained all through July? Well, it rained the rest of July, and it rained earlier today as well. Oh, wow. We got uh, losing some paint on the old plow blades there. Yeah, we're putting some work on the plow. Yeah, it poured rain today. It got really muddy. But I think we're going to head back out for another plowing job here. I just want to get everything kind of washed off. just finished the one we just finished that paid five grand there's one that pays about six thousand i think well this is great to have an equipment that we can put to work let's see i think it's yeah right here six grand down there field two let's go ahead and accept that contract all right yeah i think we're ready to go back out oh let's check our greenhouse so the greenhouse here i think this is going to be a decent investment thought about i think we should put another greenhouse here Let's see, how is it uh, doing? Let's check on it here. So, it's going to take, like, uh, probably give it a couple of months, really, to have some more pellets. You know, last episode, we took a few pellets of chili peppers, but I think it's going to take a couple of months to build up uh, a couple more pellets. So, slowly over time, I mean, this, this greenhouse has already paid for itself. It only costs, what, like 3000 maybe, I think, dollars to build. So it's paid for itself already. That's, so that's why I thought about, you know, maybe building another one, uh, like right here or something. We'll see. For now, let's, uh, we took this plowing contract. Right, so we're going, oh, it's not that far. Do I know where, oh yeah, I know where that is. I know where that field is. Because it's right down by our wheat field. We can check on our wheat field too. All right. Yeah, I know where we're going. I, uh, yeah, this road right here should go literally right by it. We'll just look for our wheat field, and it's right across the street from that. So, yeah, this has been working out really well. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, well, uh, just w with my steering, the... Uh, so, I'll, I'll probably... I may have a video uh, talking about this. I'm not sure. Patch 1.3 for Farming Simulator changed the way that steering works a little bit. And, uh, okay, which way are we going? Okay, we're going straight. Um, you can... Uh, on controller, the tractors turn slower now, and uh, I think it's actually good because it puts it. Like I said, I may have a video talking about this. It puts it more in par with the steering wheel because you actually have to turn the wheels. Now, of course, you can compensate for this by turning the steering sensitivity up to 200% in the menu, and the tractors will drive like they did before, no big deal. Um, which I did, but then I said, you know what? Uh, anyway, the point is, I set it back to where it is, where the patch changed it to. So the tractor is turning a little slower, which it should, to be fair. So here or there, I may turn inadequately, and that's because I'm still getting used to it. But I think it's better. I think it's more immersive to drive the tractors uh, better overall, you know, if I'm being honest. But to, again, I'll hold that in a separate video, I think. Right, so uh, all that aside, here is the field here that we're plowing, because that's our wheat field right there. Let's pull off on the side of the road here. Wait, where's, where's access to this field? It's hard to see. There's nothing behind us, is there? Well, we're going to turn here. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just kind of getting used to that on the road, but uh, I think it'll be for the best. The uh, Well, they made a lot of great changes in uh recent patch, but anyway. 
All right, so this is the fuel we're plowing. And yeah, let's get the tractor set here, and we'll check on our uh, check on our wheat field. Yeah, field two. Yeah, this is it. So here's our wheat. Make sure no one's coming the other way. Here's our wheat. Yeah, this is ready to harvest. I'll, uh, I'd like to. I think it's best if we own our own harvester. It costs a few thousand dollars to rent one, and I want to get the most income out of this I can. But of course, harvesters are not cheap, so. But we don't have to harvest it uh, this month, I don't think. I think we can put it off till next month. No, actually, this is the last month that can be harvested. See, we must have planted. I must have planted it in October. This is the last month that can be it can be harvested. Well, I'm glad I looked here. I was thinking September. Was I thinking of oats or something? I don't know what I was thinking of. But uh, this is the last month. Well, then I'm glad I didn't put it off. But uh, we've got a couple days still. We have it set on three day months. I think uh, in this this series it was originally two day months. Uh, a few months ago I moved it to three days, just to get more time to do work. Even though we only have one field, been doing a lot of contracts, making money. So anyway, we got a couple days to harvest that, but it is going to have to be this month. So I'll have to decide here pretty soon if we want to rent a harvester, or you can always take out more loan. But more loan is more money to pay back. But you know gonna have to uh, make a decision one way or the other all right so here this field I believe is about 1.8 hectares I think if I read that right and our plow will make pretty quick work of this um, more or less it's a decent looking field I had a look at it and I decided yeah whoa yeah steering issue um i had a look at it and decided yeah this would be a good field to plow it's mostly uh, a north south kind of field so it'll be pretty easy to go up and down this field and make some money with a plow here uh, boy i noticed that the uh, paint is really degraded on this plow when we got it it was just missing some paint on just on some of the leading edges of the of the blades but now well i'm just seeing how things work here at fs25 yeah that's pretty cool, though. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely showing its wear. We've put some use on it. Yeah, this field is a pretty good field to do. I think had we uh, started the save game normally, you know, with the $100,000 and, you know, the farm, if we start this game, you know, by default, I think this field is ours by default. But uh, instead, oh, no, I had to choose to start with nothing. And here we are. Yeah, plowing a field which could have been ours. It's not too bad at all. I like this plow. I say I said it last time a lot. I said it like six times last episode, but I do like this plow to be fair. Look at that. Already ten percent complete. The headlands with a plow this long, it's the headlands that are kind of um well they can be uh challenging if you don't have room to turn around. But then once you get uh, room to turn around with this thing, it's a fun tool to work. I think it really is. And I wouldn't mind seeing if there's other stuff that we can do today in this episode. Surely there is. Surely there's something else that we can do. I don't plan ahead of time. I'm sure there's something else. We'll keep an eye on the contracts and such like that. See if there's any other work we can pick up. Now that's crazy. That's 20% of the field. It doesn't look like it, does it? Same thing as uh, in last episode, we plowed that field. One lap around the outside of this field does not look like 20%. That's what it says. It goes pretty fast. I'm not going to complain about a job that uh, seems to be going fast. Not at all. Yeah. Other thing about plowing is it's pretty easy to see where you put your plow because you just you're just following. We're just following that big rut down the field essentially. It's something that's easy to do, even in the cockpit view here. You know. Get a view of our work back there. Oh yeah, we should have a look at getting chickens too. That's right. Put in that chicken pen. Yeah. And, oh, that's right. Because I was going to feed them with the uh, wheat that we can harvest. Yeah, I want to have a look at getting chickens. Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I'd like to do some productions. Maybe a little bit. You know, not productions like in the last series in, in uh, Kalinovka, 
at the distillery. That was that was a lot. You know, that entire farm ran on productions, and that's fun. It was fun. But uh, I don't want to do that here on this farm. Although, yeah, here at, uh, yeah, Guy Friday's Country Goods. We're selling goods and, uh, and things like that. It might invest in a restaurant, but I don't want to have, like, the and it's not all production based we might do some basic productions more like uh sell basic products not like an entire production light of uh, moonshine like the last uh, series and that's just because i, I want to keep the series diverse and uh but what i mean is uh, i'm sure we could do, do something with the chicken eggs that could go with the uh, products from the greenhouse etc Okay, whoa, I don't want to turn too sharp. Let's, well, as long as I get the... I want to try to avoid flipping the plow over just because that takes time. So, as long as we're facing this way, we can go back up this side, slowly get this work down. But yeah, I try to find a way to run up and down the field, which allows me to avoid flipping the plow if possible. I mean, it's save, you know, 20, 30 seconds, you know, so save a little bit of time up and down the field. But apparently we're almost half done with this. Oh, and I just remembered, I believe our, uh, I think our skid steer, you know, I think I left it parked down at the train silo. Of course, that was last month. Well, but yeah, I haven't had to use it. And so it should still be parked down there. We need to take that back to the farm. I've been doing contracts here through late July and August, and our skid steer is still parked down at the uh, train station. Which is, you know, it's kind of right by the store, so I should make sure, you know, try to make the maximum out of that and uh, make sure there's nothing we have to stop by the store and grab on the way home. Actually, you know what we could do with it, because there's really, I don't think there's anything we needed to buy but there was some yeah there's pallets of stuff at the old farm at grandfather's farm pallets of stuff that we could take back to our farm like at least a pallet of lime probably a pallet of fertilizer i think there's a couple pallets of stuff there that's what we'll do it will take something up get that uh home and get the uh get the skid steer home as well i'll do that here in a minute to kind of break this job up maybe a little bit go for a little drive or this is over half done now. This is not a giant, huge job, really. It looks like a big field. And again, you know, the plow, it looks so long and skinny, but it's got work with to it. Well, I think we might park the tractor up here. And uh, we could use some fuel in it, too. And we'll go get the skid steer. Yeah, it's just... Uh, Let's see, should we park the plow here? We'll be back to get it. Yeah, and uh, tractor could use some fuel. Let's just park the plow here. If it use a brake, the tractor could use some fuel. And we'll go get the skid steer. All right, we'll stop here and we'll get fuel. And then uh, we're gonna go get our, uh, our skid steer. See how much are they charging here per gallon? I don't know. Oh wow, this thing was. Well, I don't know how big the tank is. It was we were down at like a third of a tank, but I don't know how big our tank is. Apparently, uh, pretty big. Four hundred and fifty bucks. Not a fuel bill. I was looking forward to paying. I didn't think it'd be that much. I was thinking maybe a hundred some dollars. Well, that's fine. I mean, fuel is kind of a necessary cost, and it's not that big a deal anyway. Could use some repairs. We're going to hold off on the repairs. I mean, yeah, maybe we'll wait till the end of the season and get it serviced then. For now, we're just going down here to get our uh, get our skid steer. There it is. All right. Well, now, we just got to pilot this thing at a, uh, yeah, the uh, mind-blurring speed of 11 miles an hour down to Grandpa's farm. And, oh, our truck's down here. I forgot I had our truck parked down here. Jeez, we just got stuff parked everywhere. Well, let's remember that our truck is parked down here at the store. Uh, we're going to get this down to Grandpa's farm. 
I think we got a pallet of some sort that we can get back to, that needs to go back to our farm anyway. We really need to try to keep this at the farm. Skid steers are not meant for long distance travel. And I knew that, you know, when we got, well, that was a big thing. It was like, you know, they, they can only go like a half, you know, like half the speed that a tractor can go. It was so affordable, but that was one thing that was in my mind anyway, is that, you know, a tractor can go like 30 miles an hour and can load stuff. I, I guess the selling point on this was, uh, you know, how compact it is. All right, so down here, yeah, we got a couple pallets. I remember, I know we brought one back to the farm. It looks like we got seeds and lime here. It's hard to see from this distance. That's definitely seeds. The other one's probably lime. Well, let's take the uh, let's take the seeds. I guess they're closest. Let's get these here. Remember, there's a pallet of lime. We still have a cultivator down here, of course, and our subsoiler is down here as well. So, let's get these to our farm here. I think this is about, I think this farm here is about the halfway point between our farm and the store. Yeah, that's a really slow, long drive. But we're back here with the skid steer. And park this uh, pallet in here. We really got to move that trailer. Well, you know, we put that trailer there before we decided that this is a good place. For, I, I think this is. This is a great place for the skid steer and the pallets. I like the barn here. It looks good here. The skid steer, yeah, it fits in and out of here really good. We just got to move that tipper out of the way, and that's a great uh, barn for that. We're on our way back to the field, and I think that... Uh, I think we can take a shortcut through here because we know it's right next door to Grandpa's farm. So let's just take a shortcut through his farm here. I mean, we got stuff of ours here anyway. Yeah, and the field we're working on is right up here and we can get back to work on this. Well, back on the field, we are almost three quarters of the way done here. I've just been going over some harvesting options in my head as I see our wheat field over there. I looked at some equipment while I was at the dealership getting the tractor. Um, I was while I was while I was getting the tractor. I was down there, still uh, mulling over some things. There's other options. There's more, you know. There's more options than just straight up using a combine harvester. There's other ways to harvest our wheat. We'll have that figured out at some point this month. We'll have that figured out for sure. But now we've got the section here on the field that we're working close enough that we don't have to flip the plow anymore. We can just turn around and get back working exactly where here, you know, on the other side. It's amazing how uh, it is, how quickly this thing can work this field. It's a good tractor. It is a good darn tractor. I like it a lot. I even like the looks of it. It's kind of—it's really too bad it can't equip a front loader. If this tractor could have a front loader, it probably—it could. Well, I don't know about favorite tractor. I, there's a lot of tractors I could say are my favorite. I, I don't know about that, but if this tractor could equip a front loader, or if it had the option of a front hydraulic, I mean, those things are luxuries. Front hydraulic, you really don't need. This tractor is fine without it. If it had a front loader, though, it could be a lot cooler with a front loader. You know, this job does go pretty fast, but we have been at this for a little bit. And you gotta, you gotta admit, I mean, you gotta look, uh, look at the tractor. It's not that. It's not incredibly dirty, right? We got a little dirty work, and this is not incredibly dirty. Remember how filthy, muddy this tractor was today at the beginning of this episode. That is, I, I told you it was pouring rain. That's how bad it was. I was just noticing. I was like, man, we're not nearly a, uh, yeah, it was muddy. It was so incredibly, incredibly muddy. So I'm looking at it now and it's like, uh, yeah, I was starting to wonder if the weather was just going to get outright like really bad because it rained for, I mean, it rained for days and days in a row. 
and I don't remember if it was late in July or early this month, like this morning, I forget exactly, but it was raining so hard. I mean, there was water like flowing down the roads. And this was when I was out there working in the field. This is when I got all muddy and uh, the, the roads were like had standing water like all up and down the roads. And I was I was wondering if it was going to flood or something. Nah, it cleared up eventually. And look, the sun's out now. And earlier today, it was cloudy. Well, this morning it was raining and then cloudy. And now the sun came out. But it was a I was starting to wonder if it was going to flood or something. You know, I, I know there's there's probably weather stuff that happens here that I don't expect. I like I don't know yet. I've not uh, been here long enough to really know for sure. What I do know is it rained for, a, you know, an extraordinary amount of time. But we're just about done here. Almost done with this field. Yeah, we're just about that point where it just won't let us work anymore. Just got to turn around here one more time. And then it's, it's literally going to stop us, of course, because the contract will be complete. There we go. And this right here should finish us. There we go. No longer have access to this land. Oh, let's get it up out of the dirt. Now we can fold it. Made that pretty efficient. If there's this much left in the in the in the middle of the field, they must have got like everything like super super efficient then. Yeah. Eh, it's not too hard to work this plow. You, you get pretty uh, pretty skilled at it pretty quick. Well, let's get back to the farm. We'll get this washed off. You know what we should do? Uh, oh, let's get uh, let's get off the field here and we'll collect on this contract. All right, six thousand dollars. Yes, please. And is there anything else here that uh, came up that... Well, there's lots of stuff here that you can do, but... Uh, and we'll see. For now, let's get back to the farm. We'll get this cleaned off. You know, before we pull this up there, I'm going to move this tipper out of the way. Yeah, without it taking up like half of the space right in the middle of that barn we'll have plenty of room to move our skid steer around now where can we park this well I guess we can park it over here to the side kind of like yeah I can park it kind of where I think where I have the water trailer on the other side there yeah kind of like that maybe oh I thought I had that pulled up onto our driveway didn't realize it was blocking the road there all right let's get this up here get this cleaned off and uh, there's still another pallet down at the farm we can bring up here which we should probably do yeah, I'm just gonna pull this up here and shut this down Yeah, there's still a pallet down there of, uh, uh, what is it, uh, lime? Yeah, lime. Well, I guess this did get uh, pretty dirty. Yeah. Good plow. It's a good, good plow. Well, that's got that pretty good. Let's, uh, let's go get that pallet of lime, bring that up here. And uh, there's nothing in here, right? Yeah, nothing in our silo. Not yet. Not till we, uh, we harvest that wheat. Huh, what's this car doing? Well, this is something I haven't seen. He was just sitting there. Well, I guess, I don't know, maybe he was texting or something. <laughs> yeah, I was just coming down the road. I thought that was a little, uh, that was a little something. All right, so back down here, we're just, <laughs> We're just grabbing this and then driving back up to the farm. And I can't really see what I'm looking at. There we go. Yep. Grabbing this and back up to the farm. Can I see where I'm going? Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't really think so, but you can see where you're going uh, better than you might think. But uh, there we go. Ah, we can see where we're going just fine. And we'll just drive this back to the 
back to the farm and park this in our barn. Whoa, little uh, little steery there. Park this back in our uh, in our place. Now that the tipper's gone, we'll have room to maneuver in there and see. Uh, we'll take it from there. Well, now with that tipper gone, we can just skate right in here and drop this off. Whoa. And all right, so we got uh, yeah, a good little storage area here. This stuff. Now I figure it is five o'clock, so I figure we'll call it a day. But of course, because uh, yeah, we can't rest at this house. So not until I get a sleeping point put in here. So we're gonna advance into August second. I'm gonna have to go down to the other farm though. Well, it's the morning of August second here. And not a whole lot going on today. We're going to have to harvest soon. Of course, harvest is going to be in next episode. I'm just trying to, I've been trying to make money before the harvest. Because, you know, I want to buy a harvester, but at the same time, I've been kind of thinking more that, yeah, I, I think that financially it makes more sense to own the harvester instead of paying all that money to rent one. But at the same time, We've been working really hard to get that money we have. You know, we have just over $100,000. One more little job and we could afford a, uh, a decent, affordable little uh, combine harvester. But uh, that's all our money. You know, it's all our money for one tool to get one harvest. And then that tool sits dormant until next harvest. Uh, I, I think with any farm, investing in a combine harvester is obviously just, it's what you do because that's what harvests your crops. But... At this point, I'm not sure we should spend literally all the money we have on one. It might, even though I've been saying I didn't want to do it, maybe we should just rent one this harvest season. You know, it's going to cost a few thousand dollars again. But uh, yeah, because if we buy one, then we're it's we're going to have to take out another loan. See, there's that. We'll have to take out another loan because probably because we'll be completely out of money. You know, some expense will come up etc so i'm just headed back down here to get uh we still got a couple tools down here that i want to get back to the farm unfortunately yeah this tra this tractor doesn't have a three-point connection on the front so we can only take either the cultivator or the subsoiler i guess let's uh i don't know where we're gonna park well, technically, either of these. Uh, well, this might fit in that shed where I, I I was keeping the plow. We'll see. I guess we'll take this back there. We'll take this back there. Yeah, I, I think for the harvest, I think it's just the logical... It's one of those things that was going to have to happen, but I didn't want to happen. But, you know, not wanting something to happen doesn't make it any less inevitable. We may just have to rent that harvester... Uh, that'll let us keep the money we've got and keep making more and not have to take out another loan. So we'll see about that. That's, oh man, I just pulled a, yeah, I'm glad I stopped here. Well, I was trying to get off the train tracks. You see, there's no train crossing thing there. And it's always my priority to cross the train tracks, but I almost hit that fence. Anyway, uh, my reckless driving aside, yeah, we're going to be harvesting next time. And we'll see what happens with that. I'll catch you guys next time. For now, I'm going to get this tool back to the farm. Probably take some more jobs around the area and make some more money. Because later this month, one way or another, we will be harvesting the field. Guys, thanks so much for following along. And here with me, uh, farming in Riverbend Springs and FS25. I'll see you next time with Guy Friday's Country Goods. Next episode, that'll be on Monday. Until then, well, we'll have other videos up on the channel, so be sure to subscribe and uh, follow along for other farming simulator content. I'll see you guys then.